So somebody asked me if I could make a savable leaderboard. So they didn't want to do session data or module scripts or all that other stuff. They just wanted a leaderboard they could save off. I thought that was pretty cool. So go ahead and publish your game to Roblox if you haven't done so already. Go to game settings, security, and turn on HTTP requests, allow HTTP requests, and then also enable studio access to API services. And then hit save. And now that you have that, let's go to server script service and add a regular script. And in that regular script, let's call this savable leader. There you go. Probably didn't, didn't spell out the greatest, but that's all right. So we need a data store service, game get service, data store service. That's easy enough local DS or data store and we get that for the data store service whoops not get children get data store there we go and let's call this G game data one uh, you can call it whatever you want a local function and I'm gonna add board let's see the player gets passed in local board equals instance new folder or mod model player is the parent board's name is leader stats all right and I'll put two metrics in there we'll get a points metric say instance new int value and board and then the points name will be, did I spell that right? Points, there we go, that's better. Let's put a level on there just so we have, we have two things. Instance new, int value, board, level, name is level. All right, sweet, so we got a little leaderboard, we got two metrics on the leaderboard. We're going to need some functions. We're going to need one to save. So local function, save data. We'll pass the player in because the player is going to have all the data because the player is going to have the leaderboard. We're going to make a loopable save. Uh, what do you call a save loop? That's it. We'll pass the player into that. And we also need an initialization function. So local function and knit player pass in the player and here we'll add the board pass in that player all right so we have the game players player added and that'll tell us when somebody joins the game and then we will init the player and then when the players player removed removing Connect that to the save data. So on the way out, we're gonna save it one last time. All right, let's see if this works. Let's see if we don't have any errors yet. It's not done. We have to do the saving and the getting. So you see these localization tools, not a valid member of core packages. This is a Roblox update error that, that Roblox needs to fix. So uh, it's just gonna make our job a little bit harder because we're gonna have a lot of Roblox errors spewing out on our screen. But look at that, our leaderboard is working great. All right, so let's do some stuff with it. Let's say when a player comes in, we're gonna initialize an empty data array. And I'm gonna do a P call, which is a protected call. So protected calls uh, are good for checking to see if things going over the internet two Roblox are actually successful and we'll get a success back and a message if there's a failure all right local function and in that p call we're going to try and get the data from the data store so get a sync and I'll say player user ID I'm going to I always use a user ID as a key for the for the data all right and then a couple things can happen. 
there could be a failure in the p call. So I'm going to say if not success, then let's print an error. Uh, error getting data, and we'll print the message. And then also, we have to check to see if there's data, because it could be the player's first time playing. So if there's data, then we'll do player, leader, stats, points, value is going to be the data points, player, leader, stats, level, we're going to get the value of the data level. All right, and now let's just fire off our save loop. So once you, once you fire off the save loop, nothing else is going to execute because this is going to tie up all the, uh, all the cycles. If you want to do something else, you can put a spawn in front of there, spawn off a save loop thread. We don't have to do that the way, the way I wrote this. So once we save our data, let's go ahead and get the data. Oh no, we got the data. Let's go ahead and save the data when we make new data. All right, so this one's going to be a little different. Same, same idea though. So we're going to get our points from the player. So say leader, ah, leader, stats, points, value, data, level, player, leader, stats, level, value. And now we'll do a P call. So we have a success and a message, P call, an anonymous function. And here we'll do DS set a sync player user ID. And the data will be sent in. Let's just check if not success, then error. Error saving data, dot, dot, dot. I don't know why I put that there. All right, so now we have our save loop because we want to do periodic saves while true, do. And I don't want to wait that long, so I'm just going to make it five seconds. But it's going to kind of, that's going to kind of clog things up for a real game. You'd want it to be like 60 seconds or something. I'm just going to do a print statement saying saving in loop so we see that we're we're doing it and we'll save data pass in a player all right that's cool but you know we don't have anything to check to see if anything's uh updating let's quickly go to our game add a part let's call this point part point part go ahead and make it make it yellow so i can see it and then i'll anchor it can't call it off. One, one, one for our size. Add a script. This is going to give us points. I'm not going to name the script. So local part script parent local function on touch other part. Let's check to see if there's a humanoid. The other part parent fine first child that's a humanoid if there's a humanoid then let's check to see if there's a player because it could be a zombie or something right they have humanoids uh no i don't want that i want to do game players get player from character that's it other part parent nice all right now let me just check to see if the player exists and it is a player. Then we'll get our points. I'll just update the points. Player, leader stats, and points, and points.value will equal points.value plus 10. All right, and then I'm gonna assume if it works for points, it'll work for, for level. Let's just take our part. Let's get a touched connect event hook it up to the on touch function and just get in there let's try it out 
I see a lot of Roblox errors. I don't see any of my errors. That's good. All right, I'm going to add points, add points, add points. But we got 330. Let's stop. Boom. All right, now we're going to play it. Roblox errors. That's good. Ah, 330. We did it. Awesome. We have a savable leaderboard. All right. Hope you had a good one, and I will see you in the next video.